Hey all. Hey, why don't we go through uh, junk from uh, McCartney's first album, which is literally about junk, not about drugs. <laughs> uh, it's a cool little uh, chord progression. Uh, sounds a little bit jazzy, kind of. So you might be able to impress people who don't know the, the difference, but <laughs> and I'm one of them. Um, if you want to work on Paul's style of finger picking, which he uses today, going all the way back to the earliest Beatle days, this is the way he's really always kind of done it. Um, if you want to get a grip, come to grips with his style, this is a good one to work on because this is very typical the way he does it. Uh, kind of a finger picking and finger strumming mix. Um, so the the this there's only two little parts to it that go back and forth between between each other. So uh, it starts with this little thing, and this comes back a lot. Alright, so this little, uh, the first one, uh, you're, uh, it's done on the D, G, B, and E strings. Uh, D at 4, G and B at 2, and then a high E at 5. If you're not used to making that shape, and I'll bet you're not, uh, it's an odd kind, of, odd kind of chord, but that's how it starts. 4, 2, 5. So in typical Paul fashion, he does a... Use whatever fingers, it's really a two-fingered thing, whatever two fingers make sense for you. first shape. Another odd one. Uh, D at 3. G now at 4. B at 2. High E at 4. So you got these notes. I'm sure one of you knows what that chord is called. <laughs> so put it in the comments. Um, so you go from this first one, and then finally an easy one. Uh, that's D, G, B, and E all at two. So, it's all right. All four at two. Got to hit that high E at five again before you do the next chord. That's bicycles for two. Right. Same chord except now you go from covering the D to not covering the D. Right. So you hit the D and the high E. Sounds like that's what he's doing. I don't think he goes back to that D. He just... So it's two, four, five, seven, two on the high E. I just hit it again, but <laughs> hit the D as many times as you want. <laughs> right to it, to it, an A chord. High E again at five, and then A. Little turn around and goes A, and you for those two little suspensions is one up on B, two up on the G. It's not your typical the suspension that we see all the time that goes up to a D. Instead of suspending the D up, you're on the B and the G. And then back again. So now we're out of that chord. That's like a D minor seven. 
uh, G at D open, G at 2, B at 1, high E at 3. So. And then just stick your pinky up on, or I guess you can do your ring finger, but little finger up on uh, the high E at three, and then off to an A. Now, when you listen to Paul's studio cut, it's hard for me to tell uh, what he's actually plucking on that. So, because because I hear the high E string in some of it, so it kind of sounds like. It sounds a little bit like he's strumming through those. I kind of like a little bit cleaner. A and then B suspended. Suspend the B to a regular A. chord and climb up the B, 0, 2, 3, and then to an A. Back on that A chord, B at 2, 3, to a high, op high open E string, and then back again. thing that's different at the very last one he skips over he just goes back into it and kind of ends on that and he does a little you know whatever little whatever little riff you want to do at the end but it kind of ends on that. And it leaves it hanging a little bit. Uh, great tune, and again, it's another one where uh, very typical Paul finger style, we'll call it finger style, uh, guitar. And uh, a nice one to just, uh, in fact, there's the instrumental version. Uh, that's weird, the album has an, uh, one version of the song with lyrics about all the junk in the yard. <laughs> And the other one, I think, is called Sing Along Junk, and it's just an instrumental version. Both of them, absolutely gorgeous. It kind of is one of those ones where it, uh, I mean, it, it, yes, it's perfect the way it is. But you can kind of imagine if he had brought that to the Beatles, maybe they'd add a middle eight or another. John could have added a little section to it and, frankly, beefed up the lyrics a little bit, maybe. <laughs> so they aren't quite so meaningless. But... Uh, a great little tune, uh, but maybe, hey, who knows, Beatles could have taken it somewhere else. You know? Good luck. <laughs>